What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Blog. And again, just more news coming out from Atlanta Filming and, uh, and, and also Marvelous Realm on Twitter, at both of those. I'll put their links down below. Again, covering this stuff really well. I really love following Atlanta Filming. I'm not even on Twitter and I like going to this guy's site at least once a day to see what new Venom stuff that he's posting. Um, and what we have here is actually something different. Atlanta Filming could not post this. Uh, they weren't allowed to film inside the American Cancer Center, which is one of the settings for the Life Foundation, and they weren't able to film in there. So luckily, a, um, a gentleman named Jeremy uh, uh, Barganier, uh, Barganier, I believe, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your last name, um, he is actually, let me see, he works at uh, Incom, he's the director of... Uh, Director of Cybersecurity Operations at Incom in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, so Jeremy, big shout out to you. I'll put a link down to his uh, page too. He's got some other cool stuff on there, including this image right here, which is uh, of like a, a hoodie that Scott Hayes, like he retweeted Scott Hayes. So Scott Hayes has also been posting some stuff on social media. So I'll put Scott's link down below as well. He's on Twitter. So all these four, I'll put them down in the links down below in the description box. Uh, make sure you follow them, keep up to date on this movie. Uh, but Jeremy, he's not posting a ton, but he is retweeting people. And he was able to grab these uh, pictures because I guess he works inside the building. And the first image here is uh, just an elevator shop. But you see the Life uh, Headquarters main campus. You see the Life logo for the Life Foundation. Um, that's pretty neat. Uh, I, we gotta get, uh, Hopefully we get like a cool shirt. Because I'm thinking like, I can't, I'm a big Resident Evil fan. And I know that's also a Sony property. And it, it would just be neat to see them take the Life Foundation in the direction of Umbrella. And maybe make a Life Foundation commercial. Because I thought that was one of the smartest things they did for the second Resident Evil movie was they did umbrella commercials. And it was like, hey, here's makeup that Umbrella makes. Um, and oh, you can also like get your, you know, uh, you could get this shampoo and it'll help your hair and it'll revitalize your hair or whatever. And it has T cells in it, which is, you know, a hint to the T virus. So that would be cool to see them do something like that with the Life Foundation. Um, I'm sure that wouldn't be too expensive to film just like a quick little commercial and put it out there for viral marketing. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but then also on the second image here, we have a list of basically all the floors or different areas of the campus. And you have uh, administrative offices, artificial intelligence, uh, that's pretty interesting, uh, biomechanics, biomedical textile technology. You have the cafeteria, obviously. I wonder if it's like umbrella though, if it's not really a cafeteria, if it just says cafeteria. You have cellular regeneration. Um, you have data analytics and management, genetic engineering, human services department. And then up on the right there, you have the IT department slash server room, uh, microelectronics, uh, nanomaterials, uh, polymer processing, proteomics, uh, public relations, security, stem cell research, and transcriptomic technologies. So that's pretty cool. They have stem cell stuff there. Uh, they're talking about cellular regeneration, um, uh, biomechanics, all these things. Very, very neat to see all the stuff that Life Foundation is a part of. And this is just like a little Easter egg thing. There probably won't be like a, a still shot of this in the movie. Normally, someone, I mean, unless Eddie walks by and goes, I'm looking for, and then he, you see it real quickly. And then he's like, oh, you know, I got to go there. Cellular regen right, regeneration. And he runs off. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool though. That, so you can see all the things that Life Foundation are kind of uh, have their hands in. And then on this last image here, um, Jeremy describes it as a uh, some sort of spaceship and a mechanical remote controlled space spider. Um, so and you see the two images. There's a guy standing in the middle. There's two orbs on either side, and there's a camera. It looks like they're framing, doing some maybe second unit shots or something like that, or just cutaways, close ups. Um, the bottom, let's focus on the bottom one. It's kind of like a globe image almost. You see water and you see like land and stuff. And you do see a white shuttle of some kind uh, taking off. And I wonder if that, if they're tying this into the, like the origins of the symbiote, like how they found it. Maybe it didn't just crash land on Earth. Maybe they actually went into space and got it, which was in the comic books and then also in the, um, well, actually it was more like the animated series, I should say. Uh, in the comic books, the suit came from outer space, but it was in a like a secret battle world that Spider-Man was fighting. And it was a machine that he thought was like, it would make him a new costume. And he was like, all right, I'll activate it. And he activated it and it turned out not to make him like a costume. Like it didn't repair the holes on his costume, but it gave him the symbiote and it wrapped around him and put him in black. Um, so, you know, Kind of a weird origin, sure. Uh, they explain it more later in Planet of the Symbiotes and stuff like that. But in, at least in the the the, com, uh, the cartoon story, though, the animated series of Spider-Man, they had John Jameson, who was J. Jonah Jameson's son, who was also an astronaut. He went up into space, and while they're up there on the moon, they found a rock 
And when they pulled it off, uh, they, uh, it had ooze dripping from it. And then they took that rock and brought it back to Earth with them, and that's where the symbiote came from. So it was like exiled from its planet and you know crash landed on the moon or something, and then astronauts found it. So that could be what's happening on the other side over there, the mechanical spider, as Jeremy calls it. Uh, it looks like it uh, could be a spider slayer. That's something from the comics. Actually, around the time of Venom popping up, I think in issue 373, there was like a, the ending of a spider slayer story right before they went into the, the Venom story that led into Lethal Protector. So it could be a version of that. Maybe Life Foundation uses like spider kind of tech or designs things that look like spiders um, to, uh, you know, so maybe there's still a theme of spiders in this movie somehow. And that could be a machine that was maybe digging for something on the moon or on Mars or somewhere in space and it found the symbiote and then brought it back to Earth with it. So for all we know, that could be the, the origin right here. Just like that one picture could tell us a lot about the storyline and where the story's going. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it shows outer space stuff, it's, uh, possibly. Um, so that would be neat to find out if this is all part of the backstory of the Clintar race, which is what the symbiote is called, uh, Clintar. Uh, and it comes from that planet, uh, which is full of them. So yeah, I don't know. Interesting photos. So Jeremy, thank you so much for the photos. And Atlanta Filming, thank you for retweeting this so I could see it. Um, and everyone out there who's following this movie and, uh, and sharing information, that's great. Thank you for doing that so I could keep this series going and having uh, as many videos as like four or five videos that I'm posting today. Um, I might spread them out a little bit. So if this comes out on a day, like another day, then I'm sorry, you know, like I, I just, I was like, hey, I gotta film all this at once because there's a lot of cool stuff. And the last thing we're gonna talk about actually is gonna be with Jenny Slate. I'll just kind of put that in here. I can't show the images because I don't want this video to get taken down. So I'll put a link down below to this um, hot celebs Dot com. It's H-A-W-T, so it's not like a not safe for work website. It's just like a just a random website of celebrity pictures. And uh, I guess these images are stolen, possibly from Atlanta Filming. And uh, and I so that's again, I don't want to do anything against Atlanta Filming here. Seems like a cool dude. So I'll just put a link down there if the site you know takes it down. If they get if Sony shuts that site site down and says they can't show the images, then I'm sorry you missed them. Basically, I'll just describe them real quick. It's just two shots of Jenny Slate, and it's her on set. She's got her hair down. She's wearing a long black coat. She's part of the Life Foundation. She might be a doctor or researcher for them, is what I'm hearing. And possibly her name is Dora Skirth. Uh, but I don't know if that's like an inside joke that Atlanta Filming posted or what. But D O R A. S-K-I-R-T-H, Dora Skirth, which is a new character that is not um, a character that I know from the comic books at all. And I think I saw Atlanta Filming post yesterday. I got pictures of another actress on set, but they're playing a new character and I can't show the pictures. So I'm guessing that's what this is. And then maybe someone somehow hacked and found those pictures and posted a couple of them online. So I'll put a link down below to that website. If it gets taken down, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, I, again, I don't want to do anything to slight against uh, Atlanta filming. If, if he was told not to share those photos, then I'm not going to share those photos. Uh, again, though, big shout out to Jeremy. Thank you for the photos you posted. And Atlanta filming, Marvelous Realm, thank you guys for doing what you do. So that way I can do what I do here on this channel. It really means a lot to me. And then uh, also Atlanta filming just posted a poll. So if you want to go there, be careful on their site because on their Twitter page, they're are taking a poll right now apparently they witnessed a character die in the venom movie like some a character dies and they witnessed it and they're taking a poll and asking people do you want to know who it is or not and a lot of people are voting yes so be careful going to their their page you might get a spoiler uh, but otherwise, uh, otherwise, these guys are doing great work and I appreciate what they're doing very much. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of all this footage we talked about, the Life Foundation, you know, everything we went over in these past couple videos. Let me know. I'm going to try to post them as fast as I can. I appreciate you all supporting this channel. Thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I'll see you in the future. Peace.